As majestic and awe-inspiring as nature generally is, every now and again it produces something truly bizarre. Whether it's a baffling evolutionary adaptation or a complete fluke of genetics altogether, there's no shortage of weird natural occurrences. This Swedish cameraman happened to catch one such fluke of nature on film. He thought he was just filming a deer, but he had no idea that it had a rare genetic disorder called cactus buck syndrome that affected its antlers and face. You simply have to see it to believe it. Once you learn more about this strange condition, you might never look at deer the same way again. When this Swedish man set up a camera in his backyard, all he wanted to do was capture the deer that often passed through in the early morning hours. When he looked at the footage, he noticed a strange growth on one of the buck's heads, and that's when his research began. The deer he had captured on film was suffering from a rare condition called cactus buck disorder. This condition might look like something out of science fiction, and while it's relatively uncommon, it's still absolutely real. Deer that suffer from this relatively rare condition usually develop it because of a particularly low level of testosterone in their bodies. This distinct imbalance in hormones causes pieces of their horns to develop and never drop off as they do in other deer. This condition is often seen in male deer whose testicles have never descended. In the hunting community, these bucks are typically called antler does as they never fully develop the characteristics of a buck. This buck also suffers from the disorder, but it's not the only thing that caused the massive web of velvet crowns to develop on his head. The formation suggests he had an injury to one antler and it fused with the other during the healing process. This stunning buck was hunted legally during the season. The hunter posing with the buck he felled must have been proud, but it's not clear whether he realized the rare condition that made his buck extra special. This photograph is another great example of an antler doe. The hunter who caught this buck discovered that the deer's testicles had also been removed. It was likely that he accidentally castrated himself while trying to jump over a fence. This deer had a particularly fascinating case of the disorder. It appeared that when his antlers first developed, his hormone levels were normal, resulting in totally normal antlers. But then something happened and changed all of that with this dramatic result. Still, none of these bucks came close to looking like the deer this Swedish man happened to film on his camera, though. Check out this incredible shot. It's like the animal's antlers not only sported a velvety overgrowth, but they fused together in a crown at the top of his head. That said, looking so different from the average buck didn't really seem to be slowing down this buck in the slightest. It just goes to show that nature is not only unpredictable, but it can be breathtaking in the best and worst ways.